just wanted to say thank you. Thank you everyone for coming. And um, yeah, so now that the marriage is official, Carlos, you may now collect your dowry. My father has granted you 11 goats. They are awaiting you in the Toyota. <laughs> they are some of the finest, fattest animals the shtetl has ever known, <laughs> according to the Yenta. So I know with my strong cultural background, my Yiddishkeit, the chuppah, the horah, the mikvah, the ketubah, the smashing a cup for wine, then drinking the wine anyway. Carlos, I know that entering this world is not easy. Thank you for being my ideal partner and only sometimes a deer in headlights. <laughs> and elephant in the room, like from coming from a bicultural couple, it's, um, you know, not, sometimes we feel the burn of being star-crossed lovers. So, you know, sometimes from two different tribes, bluntly two colors, as in, he has an Android and I have an iPhone. And we're constantly navigating that blue-green text bubble divide. We really are woke warriors. No, 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 there's none of that, no. Thankfully, everyone is super excited for the mixing of cultures to spark new creations. Ones that will give our parents infinite naches. And I um, no, it's bad luck, but I'm excited to name them. <laughs> These little masterpieces that are a little bit both of us. Creations like Gefilte Fish Gazpacho, <laughs> Paella Kugel, Churro Chulent, Manashevit Sangria, and instead of fruit, throw in some Kreplach. Wait, whoa, whoa, what kind of creations did you think I was talking about? <laughs> Come on, Mom, you know us insufferable Silicon Valley folks, every new idea, new innovation is like a baby we have to nurture. They're basically grandchildren to add to your growing grand dog collection. You should be quelling. <laughs> See, it's all about reframing. It's not vegetarianism. No, Dad, it's not vegetarian. It's kosher. <laughs> because let's face it, all the machatunim in the house. <laughs> When it comes to this level of simcha, it's not your kid's wedding, it's your kid's wedding. <laughs> and my parents, no, everybody knows, that knows my parents, knows that they are the most welcoming, warm, generous hosts. And my mom, my mom has been my collaborator, my partner, my teammate throughout this entire wedding mishigas. From every sunflower sizing, too poofy veil and dress alteration debacle, to every portobello roasted mushroom, punny matchbox and failed bra tape. Mom, you have really been the only one who I could go to with questions like, which side of the chuppah should I stand on that doesn't make my nose look as big? Or, do I really have to shave my legs for this thing? <laughs> oh, well, you know, that last one is more in the bridesmaid domain, but. <laughs> and dad has been wonderful with all our kibitzing too. In fact, they both hosted us for a while early this year when I got my ankle surgery, which had to be at least a few months before the wedding, because otherwise during that horror in my parents and brothers' met medical professional opinions, I would have torn more ligaments than a bubby doing a keg stand at her grandson's frat house formal. So thank you from both of us to both of you.